Question four, part A. What type of angle is X in the diagram above? Circle your answer. So these, both these questions are multiple choice questions. So even if you have absolutely no clue, make sure you circle something because here you've got a 25% chance of um, getting it correct for one mark. So let's make sure we do know though. So what are each of these angles? Well, a right angle looks like this and it is shown with a little square in there. It is 90 degrees. A reflex angle is the really flexible angle, the one that sort of comes back on itself. So that's the outside there. So that is more than 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is represented by a straight line. Obtuse, so that is more than 90 degrees, because if it was 90 degrees, it would be straight up here, but it's not, it's more. But it's not as big as 180 degrees, which would be a straight line. Acute is the really, really cute one. It's the small one, so it's less than 90 degrees. So if it was 90 degrees, the line would be here, but it's not, it's less than that. So this one here, if it was to be 90 degrees, my line would be somewhere like this. But it's not, it's bigger, so that's going to be um, more than 90 degrees, but this would be 180. So it's more than 90, but less than 180. So that one there is the obtuse angle, it's the big angle, for one mark. We have a 3D shape here, and it's got a rectangular face. So a rectangular 3D shape is called a cuboid. So it has a rectangle here, and it's made 3D. So one end of the prism is a rectangle, and we stretch it out, and there's a rectangle on the other side as well. That means it's a prism. End face is exactly the same as the other end face. So this one is a cuboid. A cylinder is a basically a 3D circle. So it has a circle on one end and it's stretched out and it'll have a circle on the other end. So it's a prism because it has the same end face on either sides. It has uniform all the way throughout the shape. This one is basically a 3D square. So it's a square that's been stretched out and it have a square on the other end. If I can do this. There we are. So it'll have a square here and a square at the end there. So that makes this a prism. A cone is a circle that's been stretched into a point. So that is not a prism because it doesn't have the same face on uh, either end but it is a 3D shape because it's three dimensions. So the sphere also is not a prism because it hasn't, the sphere is like a ball, so it hasn't been stretched out. It doesn't have two end faces. So this shape is a cuboid for one mark.